and it's just so cute. If they are a bit like frightening, oh, makes me nervous. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, my name is Nicole and here on Be My Man I do lots of motherhood, lifestyle, cleaning and organisational videos. So if you like that kind of content I would love it if you could stick around and maybe consider subscribing. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be what my four month old daughter got for Christmas this year. I just wanted to show you what she got given for Christmas. I really hope that this video does not come across as like braggy and you know very showy offy. That is not the point of this video at all. When I was preparing birthday and Christmas presents for my son Didier and for Nina. Uh, I definitely did go to YouTube and Pinterest just to search for ideas. So I just thought I would add my own little video out there, maybe to help others. I did not buy all of these gifts, some of these were from like my mum and dad. Like my mum and dad are divorced so obviously they've got another set of extra grandparents to get presents from. So there's like my mum and my stepdad and my dad and my stepmum. There is Matthew's family in France. There is like my auntie. And um, let's just not forget that I am an only child and my little children are the first grandparents on either side. So they do get very, very spoiled to the point where Matthew and I scale back a lot on the presents that they get given because we know that they're just gonna be bombarded. <laughs> With toys. So enough waffling, I will get straight into the video. So first up I will just show you what we bought her. Like I said we scale back a lot because we know that she's just going to be bombarded with gifts. We just picked up little teethers and things like that from Home Bargains. First up being this little teething ring. It's very cute. It's a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought they were going to be a bit soft. I knew that she was starting to teeth so I really wanted to get her some proper teethers and I just thought this one was quite quite cute. Obviously my firstborn is a little boy and we didn't really pick up anything pretty and girly like this because we, we didn't know what we were having so it's just quite nice to just pick up something a little bit pretty for a change. Then I also picked up this little rattle ball. These are really good for babies to like cling onto. you know they've got like a vice grip at this age so at four months she loves like just holding it in her hands and then she you know she can hear obviously the rattle inside and I think she's been enjoying that as well. And the other thing we picked up was just a little ball, a little soft ball. She loves to suck on these. She doesn't hold on to it for that long because obviously she's four months and she can't really grip onto anything. But she does hold it in her hands for a few seconds. And yeah, she likes to suck on these. But I'm pretty sure that when she is sitting up and rolling around and a bit more aware of everything, she will really enjoy playing with these toys. So the next present is from my auntie. I'm very close with my auntie. As I mentioned before, I'm an only child. She was the closest thing that I had to a sister growing up. So we are very close. She always spoils my babies and myself. And for Nina's first Christmas, she bought this little VTech. I'm pretty sure it's VTech. Oh, Fisher Price. Okay, that's why I could never find it. She bought this Fisher Price. She bought this Fisher Price mixing bowl and we all kind of had a little giggle because my husband's a chef. A lot of the things that were purchased for the kids were related to chefing and cooking. We've had we've had good fun with it. Uh, but this is really cute, okay? I don't really tend to buy things with batteries because they're every parent's nightmare. But this is actually really sweet. It's basically just a mixing bowl and it sings and talks, it doesn't stop. It comes with a little set of measuring spoons a big mixing spoon, some chocolate, and it's also like a rubbery tea there, so that's two in one, which is really cool. Some milk, and like when you do that, it comes out. So cute. And a little egg. So cute. Oh, and some cherries. So it's got quite quite a bit in there. And let's, let's, let's turn it on. And so when you put things in it, it's like a button. So it lights up and flashes. Stir, please. I don't know why I let that finish because I could just turn it off. God. Anyway, it's really cute. 
It's annoying because the songs just stick in your head. That alphabet song has been in my head since Christmas Day, so that's fun. But this is actually a really cute little activity for her to play with. Like I said, I don't really always buy things for batteries. But she has loved the flashing lights, she's loved chewing on things, and I know that when she is sat up, this will be a great little activity to take away with us. If we go anywhere, we can just chuck everything in the bowl and it's an easy like, entertaining toy for her so I'm really happy with that. <laughs> the other thing that my auntie bought her was this jelly cat strawberry blanket. It's like a little comforter and it's so soft and it's so cute. Ooh, I just I love them. I love jelly cat. This little label jelly cat it is such you know, I feel like we've already got shares in Jelly Cup. Me and my mum are actually collecting the food stuff. We've got like aubergines and leeks and stuff like that. So this is a little strawberry to add to the collection. So cute. So this little dolly was from my stepdad's mum. We call her Nana Eileen. And this one is really cute. I've never seen this brand before. I don't know what it's called. Baby Gund. I've never heard of this brand before, but... It's very cute. Nina loved this. Okay, when we took this out of the wrapping paper and we gave it to her, her eyes lit up and she got so excited, like her arms were shaking and she just wanted to like put it straight in her mouth. So she she really likes this. Whenever we put this near her and you know we just like make it talk and we play with her with it, she goes absolutely wild. So she is a huge fan of this. <laughs> Another present we have, I don't know what these are called. What, what are they called? Like a surprise pop-up toy? You know, it's when where you press the button. This was a hit with my little boy. Uh, we didn't actually have one of these for my little boy when he was a baby. Um, so, of course, this is the first time for him really seeing one of these. And he loved this as well. <laughs> I, I've, basically, I've had to, like, prize most of this stuff off my toddler. But, yes, I think, again, that when she is sat up and she can use her arms and things like that when she's a bit more coordinated. She, again, will love this. I th definitely think that this will be a hit because I know that most babies love stuff like this, even if they are a bit, like, frightening. Oh, makes me nervous. And this was from my dad and my stepmum. So next up, there are a few things from my mum and my stepdad. So first up, she bought these beautiful books. I've never come across these books before. They're by Jonathan Lambert and A.J. Wood called Snuffle and the little elephant is called Snuffle. Uh, she bought two of these books and I think my son has actually nicked the other one for a bedtime story the other day. They just have lift the flaps. The illustrations are very very sweet, very cute. I always appreciate a book for birthdays and Christmas because I feel like a books are always something that I just so overlooked. So I'm very happy that she got some books for Christmas. My mum also bought her this little rattle. Uh, she loves this. Of course, it's something that she can grip and it's noisy. So anything noisy obviously captures their attention at this age. So she was very happy with that. Another thing that my mum picked up was this cute little abacus. How pretty is this? I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. And this is from Mama, Tiger and Cubs. I don't know if it's a small shop, I'm not aware of where she got any of these from, I will ask her. But I'll have a little Google at that shop, but it's like a little pink logo with a tiger and a baby tiger, mama tiger and cub. And it's just so cute. Something else that she's picked up is this egg. I love this, I absolutely love this. Nina has, Nina has loved it too, which is important because it's for Nina, not me. Um, it's just a little, crinkly egg. My mum got really excited when she found it and it's the first, she's like, I bought Nina an egg. And I'm like, okay. And now, now I see what all the fuss was about because it's really cute. Again, I'm not sure where my mum picked this up from, but there's a little label on the back called We Gallery. So W-E-E -E Gallery. Uh, again, I'll try and find it online, but it is just so cute. And Nina loves this. She will love like crinkling it in her hands and then she stops putting it in her mouth and she gets really excited when she hears the crinkling noise. And last but not least, these are some of the more expensive items that my mum purchased. This was my idea to my mum. I did say maybe something like this would be a really nice keepsake, something that she can play with when she's a bit older because obviously she's going to have lots of presents. She can't really play with things now. So maybe we should get her something that she can actually play with in the future. And I walked into a beautiful toy shop in Bath once 
I can't remember the name of it, but it was full of Maleg toys, and that's the first time I've ever seen Maleg up close. So Maleg, I'm pretty sure it's a Swedish brand, please don't quote me on that, but it is beautiful. It is a little on the pricey side, but they make some stunning toys, very much like little soft dolls, like dollhouse equipment, things like that. They have little characters that you can dress up, and my mum very, very kindly bought Nina some. So for Christmas, she's bought her the Princess Mouse and the Pea. And it's just like a little castle and when you open it, oh, it just melts my heart. So this little castle bit comes off and I'm not sure if you can see. All the mattresses for Princess and the Pea, there's her little duvet and inside the box is a little mouse. So she's got a little princess mouse, uh, it's got a little tutu and her tail and it just melts my heart, it's so cute. So there's like a little pillow, a little duvet, and in between all the mattresses, I don't know if you can see there, but one of the mattresses has got like a little pea sewn on, a little wooden bead. Oh my God, stuff like this, I loved as a child. When I was little, I was very focused on small wheel play, like dolls houses, Polly Pockets, um, even like random figurines. If only I'd had stuff like this as a kid, oh, I would have loved it. So I'm hoping to, you know, get this collection up to scratch. I've seen a camping one. So there's a Maleg mouse in a tent and you can get like a little picnic set and they are very, very pricey. And I, 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 I'm pretty sure that this little set of the princess and the pea is around 40 pounds, which is just extortionate. And I'm very, very well aware of that. But I know that these will be very well loved and I am very excited for her to use these when she's older. I think these will be such a beautiful thing to pass on from children to children if they're well looked after. And she also surprised us with another one, which was a little chef man. I've just seen from the label that they are Danish, not Swedish, so my bad, sorry. They are beautiful and of course it's a little chef mouse with a little hat, it's chef jacket and the trousers and it's just so sweet because my husband's a chef and now she's got like a little chef daddy mouse and I just think they, they are so sweet. So we definitely think that we might add to the collection. I was supposed to get some for Christmas as well but it just didn't go to plan because I had so much to buy. <laughs> But definitely for her birthday, I think I'm going to have that as a little tradition that every year she gets a little my leg mask. And it's just so cute. So guys, that is pretty much everything that Nina got for her first Christmas. Again, I hope that this isn't too showy offy. I just really hope that it might help you in some way if you are looking for gift ideas for a newborn. I know that shopping for a newborn for birthdays and Christmas can be very daunting. I'm really happy with what she got. There is a nice little selection there of things from soft toys to teething toys to things that she can use when she's a bit older and also things like trinkets and toys that for her when she is a lot older to play with and I think that is a really good mix in my opinion I think there are some lovely bits and we are so grateful and just so lucky to have those lovely family members who think of her and love to spoil her. <laughs> so guys, if this little gift guide helped you in any way, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up. It would really help support and grow my little channel here. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year or happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Please leave any comments down below. I will try my hardest to link everything mentioned here down below in the description box and I will see you in the next one. Bye.